Now, remembering September 11th, 20 years ago, many JAG fans might not realize the attacks hit closer to home for then coach Tom Coughlin. His son was in one of the Twin Towers. News for Jack Sports anchor Jamal St. Cyr uncovered his reaction from that day. For the Jaguars, 2001 Tuesday, September 11th was a game plan day. The team was in meeting rooms preparing for their next game. Then Jaguars head coach Tom Coughlin had no idea what was unfolding in New York. That was until his daughter was able to finally get him on the phone and tell him to look at a TV. That's when Coach Coughlin saw the tragedy that was unfolding at the World Trade Center and when the panic started to set in to a father because he knew his son, Tim, was on the 44th floor of one of the towers when the blast occurred. Now, after a few frantic moments, Coach Coughlin was finally able to get his son on the phone. And so, as it would be, uh, he answered the phone when he was on the ground, just about on the ground. And I was able to talk to him at that time. And he told me that, uh, you know, that he was on the ground and he was headed for an exit. And I said, well, be, you know, be very careful. You don't know where you're coming out into. You don't know. He said, Dad, we only have one way to go. We're being directed that way. Um, later on that day, I did talk to him when he was in the, the safe place, the evacuation center. Our personal story is, is, has a happy ending. I only wish that could be for all Americans. The NFL canceled games that Sunday, and many other major sporting events were rescheduled. One of the few colleges that actually played football that following Saturday was the JU Dolphins football program. I'm Jamal Saints here for Channel 4, the local station.